Mission of the day, we are thrifting for some fall trends. As much as I can say like what I'm looking for and like what's on my list and like what I wanna find and X, Y, Z, I'm also like just super open to like whatever cool stuff I find, I find. We're just gonna go browse around, have a little thrift adventure and a little haul a little bit later on. So let's go to the thrift store. Boop, here we are. Walk in and immediately I see this. This is actually so cute. It's also $15, so hmm. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Wait, please tell me this is in my size. I'm truly amazed by this Goodwill so far. I don't know how I haven't been here. Like, look at how cute this is. They're in that really beautiful butter yellow color that is so big this season. Ugh, these are a few sizes too large for me. Never been to that Goodwill before. I am incredibly shocked with how big it is and how great this selection was. I scored, so I can't wait to go home and show you what I got. Welcome back home. I will say, I did go thrifting a few days ago and I picked up some really fun pieces then, so I'm gonna start out with those and then we'll dive into everything that I just got today. We're gonna start out with this black coat and this is something that has been lacking from my fall and winter wardrobe for years. I just haven't found a, like the right one and when I was at the thrift store I saw this one I thought it was just so like classic and elegant and it's just kind of in a style that will like never go out of style it's just a standard wool coat this is just going to be like essential in my wardrobe for years and years and years to come next piece that I got is this beautiful red sweater it's kind of has like a a preppy style to it I think just with the mock neck and the zipper but this is so flattering I put this on in the thrift store and was just shocked with how like good it looks I mean it looks great on the hanger like I knew it had a lot of promise but then when I put it on it just fits so well and it looked so cute and I just feel like this will be such a wonderful sweater to add to my collection I don't have a lot of knit things in my closet already and so I know that this will add so much value to my fall and winter closet on the topic of beautiful knits I also picked up this blue one and this color is stunning and it's in the similar shape it's kind of cropped it tapers in at the waist it has a wide sleeve and I just think that that sleeve shape is so beautiful and incredibly flattering and it's also been kind of like a like a trendy sh sleeve shape if you guys haven't seen my fall trends video I talk about that and also some other trends that I noticed and liked or just thought were interesting so you guys can check out my trends video if you haven't seen it already but I just thought that this sweater was so cute and it's so soft and comfy. Moving on from that, I got this beautiful satiny silky green button down and when I see a shirt like this at the thrift store I honestly can't not get it just because these types of shirts you can style and do so much with it's just one of those things like you can't not pick it up and I don't have one in this color and I love I mean it's just a beautiful piece it's just a classic button down and I know that I'll be making so much use of that not even just in this fall and winter but that's something that I'll probably Probably like wear year-round just because it is light it's good for layering and it's just 
soft and beautiful and airy and breezy. So that was that. Okay, we're gonna move on to a few accessories before I finish up with some of the clothes that I got from my first thrift haul. And the first one is this scarf. I love finding pieces like this at the thrift store. It's this beautiful florally green, red patterned scarf. And I just think it's so stunning. There's a lot that you can do with this. Like I could tie this in tops. It's honestly like big enough. I could make it into skirts even. And I'm excited to just kind of play with it. And I mean, I can obviously even wear it for its intended purpose being an actual scarf but I'm definitely excited to play with this and see how I can integrate this into my outfits. The next accessory I got are these two brooches and they're honestly really interesting. To me, this one looks like a piece of kale, which I just think is so funny. And then this one is like a, it looks like just like a fall leaf and it's just gold and beautiful and it kind of has these three different leaf layers on it with a little gold ball at the center. The reason I got these brooches is because with scarves, like the one that I just showed, when I want to turn those into a skirt, I kind of need a way to attach and having a beautiful brooch like this just to add like a little bit of bling to the skirt and then also give it function like me actually being able to fasten the skirt closed and the next accessory that i got oh my god i'm literally obsessed with these it's these beautiful earrings and they're this white kind of like ceramic almost texture and then they have this beautiful crystal at the center and these are such fun statement earrings i actually wore these on a photo shoot with one of my friends recently and they just were so cute and so fun we have one more accessory from my first thrift trip that i am really excited to show you it's kind of outside of my comfort zone a little bit let me show you what i mean it's this beautiful bag oh my gosh how stunning is this so this kind of feels like a cowhide texture up top and then it's leather all throughout the back and at the bottom the clasp is so interesting you just twist and this shape is like just so stunning and you open it up and there's just uh some pockets right there it's nice and deep i feel like this will be so good for on days where i want to bring like my journal somewhere or just kind of have have like a lot of things to carry but I want something like really elegant so this actually super super reminds me of the Bottega Veneta sardine bag and not because like they're incredibly similar it's really just one aspect of this bag that reminds me of it and it's this metal rod that goes through the top and it's just like so interesting and definitely big bag energy which is a little bit more of the reason why it's kind of outside of my style comfort zone because normally i like to carry smaller bags but i just think that this will come in handy because honestly like let's be real like as cute as small bags are sometimes you need something to actually hold your stuff and this just has a lot of function to it okay let's move on to the final two clothing pieces that i got from my first thrift trip this piece you need to use your imagination for because in its current state i do not like it but how i want to thrift flip this i think it's going to be really really cute so it's this red dress this is actually originally from zara and it has like an awkward sleeve and then it has this big turtleneck and i just do not like that about it my intention is to try and thrift flip this i want to turn this into like a tank top dress with like a nice low back the next video that i will be posting will be thrift flips of all of the things that are in this haul so make sure you're subscribed because the transformation of this is hopefully going to be really great <laughs> so hit the subscribe button if you want to see me transform this piece and some of the other goodies that i'm about to show you into quite literally the my fall dream wardrobe one final item from my initial 
thrift and this is honestly something I'm so excited about. It's these gorgeous pants and it has this beautiful pleat down the front. They're super wide legged and then cuffed at the bottom. I am a tall girl and so finding pants that are long enough, especially if I'm wearing heels, is really difficult and these pants lengthwise fit perfect. However, the waist is quite large on me, so I will have to take these in at the waist, but that will be a super easy thrift flip, so that will also be included in the next video that I will be posting. So you'll see me transform these and how I transform pants to fit my waist. So if you're curious about how to do that, I'll be doing that in my next thrift flip. Okay, with all that being said, I can't wait to dive into what I just got at this Goodwill. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm actually like shocked and blown away. The first thing that I saw like when I walked in, these shoes, these are originally from Nine West. I wanted to show you super up close and personal how cool the heel of this shoe is. It has this silver metal around the top and then it's this clear heel and it's this beautiful loafer style and I just think that this shoe is so Stunning. I'm so shocked to have found these at the thrift store. Oh my god. I feel like I scored So hard finding these the next thing I got is this cute little bag This is originally Liz Claiborne and it just has these cute little silver hardware buckles on the handle and it's kind of this Crocodile type texture. It is a little dirty, so I need to give her a good clean But other than you know some like it's literally just like gunk on it Like I just need to like wash it off. We have one more purse and this one I am Extremely excited about just because it's so beautiful It's kind of hard to see just because it's a little like floppy because there's nothing in it at the moment But this is such a gorgeous brown bag. I'm so excited to have found this. I love how it's kind of rough and undone looking. It very much looks reminiscent of the row. This is also like a great size. It's not super large, but it's also not super small. There's so much space in here. I will say there's no pockets or anything, which I think, <laughs> you know, that's just going to make like organization in here non-existent, but I just kind of throw all my stuff in a bag anyways. I'm not super concerned about like that aspect and if I really cared I could get a bag organizer but I just think that this is going to be so wonderful to have in my wardrobe let's get into the clothes I am going to start out with this tank top and this gives me Meredith Blake energy trust me I'm not a big nature girl get over it her style has been something that I have been seeing everywhere on social media. This isn't a trend that I talked about in my fall trends video, but it's absolutely a trend in fashion right now, at least from what I've seen on social media. And it's the black with like the white piping. It's also just super elegant and classic. It definitely gives me like Chanel vibes, like Karl Lagerfeld for Chanel. And it's just a simple tank top. So. I don't have a lot of kind of throw on and go type tank tops and I think this is going to be like one of those but just because of the white piping on the neckline and the little keyhole I just think it adds such a layer of elegance. I got one other tank top and this one is so stunning. It's this I don't think it's knit like I really think this is crochet and crochet is a trend I talked about in my fall trends video typically that's a very summer like material to wear but I saw it like all over the runway in fall shows which I really like just because I think it's um, it's really great to have like a transitional piece like that that you can wear kind of like in and out every season and I don't have a knit tank like this and it's just so like flowy and soft and beautiful. There's no tag in this so I don't know where it's originally from but kind of similar to that black tank top that I got. It's just a classic piece that this will always be a timeless an effortless tank top to have in my closet. Kind of on the same vibe of like extremely classic and timeless pieces and sort of that Meredith Blake aesthetic. I got this gorgeous 
black dress. So I have a few black dresses, but they're all pretty unique style-wise. I wouldn't say that I have a little black dress. This will be that piece. It is originally from BB, and it has this incredible stitching all over and down, and then a big zipper in the back to get in and out, and it's just this cute little mini dress style. And this fits me like a glove. I am so in love with this, and I just, I mean, again, classic timeless piece, into the wardrobe you go. You are not leaving me ever. I have it, three more pieces to share with you and these are all going to be thrift flips. So you will see them in my next video too and I'm really excited to get into them. And the first is this skirt. So this is obviously a little bit big for me, but it's this beautiful butter yellow color and it's just this pleated, lovely skirt. It's originally from Banana Republic and this butter yellow has been everywhere this season and I think especially as we go into spring and summer next year it's only going to continue to like accelerate in popularity and how much we'll be seeing of it and I love it. This color is a color that I talked about in my fall trends video and to be honest I didn't really like expect to see something like this like at the thrift store and so when i saw this i was like i don't care that it's way too big i will alter it to fit me and i'm going to make it work in my wardrobe so speaking of skirts i also got this skirt and it's again quite large on me and it's super long i want to turn it into a skirt that looks like this i have been wanting a skirt like this so bad recently and I did try to find something similar at all the thrift stores that I went to but obviously I couldn't but I saw this and I was like okay this is giving the energy I want but I just need to alter it to one have it fit me and also be in the aesthetic that I am looking for so I am going to do a massive thrift flip to this one which I'm really excited about so again um, hit that subscribe button sister because that'll be a fun one and the very last piece that I got is this men's button down and I think that this pinstriped pattern is so cute and this blue color is just everything and and my intention for thrift flipping this is just to crop it. So anyways, expect to see that one in next week's video too. And with all of that being said, that was the thrift haul, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my gosh, I haven't been thrifting in so long and it was honestly amazing to do this and share this experience with you guys. And I can honestly say it totally re-inspired me to go thrifting more regularly rather than buying clothes online so if you like thrift content definitely hit that subscribe button because you know there is going to be so much more to come so until next time you guys i'll see ya bye